In this video I'm going to give a brief introduction to thermal methods. So first of all what is a thermal method? Well if we think about a material being heated up its physical properties can change and a thermal method is an instrumental method or technique that is used to measure the changes in physical properties of a material as the temperature is varied and, and changed. So there's a range of different thermal processes that we can study with thermal methods. Uh, for example, a phase transition. So we might go from one crystal form of a material to another, or one molecular arrangement in a solid to a different molecular arrangement. We also have things like melting, sublimation, decomposition, where we heat a material and it becomes a gaseous form. A glass transition, which again is, is a phase transition, but very particular to polymers. Oxidation and tarnishing, combustion, volatilization, uh, and heterogeneous catalysis. Now, if we look at some of the different techniques, um, we can categorize these by the properties that they actually monitor. So we've got a, different, a, a list of different physical properties here, and then a list of techniques that can be used in order to monitor those properties. So it really does depend what you want to analyse uh, that will guide the technique that you select. So if we go back to our thermal processes for a moment, if we think about thermogravimetric analysis, this monitors a change in mass, so we need to consider do these processes undergo a mass change and therefore are they suitable for being studied with this technique. So if we think about sublimation, yeah, that will undergo a mass change, so we could use TGA. As would decomposition, oxidation and tarnishing, combustion and volatilization. So there, there are these different techniques. Um, we need to think about a match up between the technique and the thermal process that we want to study. So these other processes don't undergo a mass change, and so thermogravimetric analysis wouldn't actually tell you anything about those. So it is important to think about the technique and the property and the thermal processor that you're going to study. So that's been a brief introduction to thermal methods.